The clearest example of John Kennedy's idealism was his work on the Senate's McClellan Committee, which was investigating mafia influence in organized labor. From 1957 to 1960, the senator and his younger brother, Chief Counsel Robert Kennedy, took on the most powerful gangsters in America and one of their closest friends in organized labor, Jimmy Hoffa. I would be very happy to have our legal counsel here, our legislative representative here, assisting me in spending as much time as necessary to acquaint the American people with the fact that this is a strike-breaking, union-busting bill. In my opinion, Mr. Hoffa, this bill is not a strike-breaking, union-busting bill. You're the best argument I know for it. Your testimony here this afternoon, your complete indifference to the fact that numerous people who hold responsible positions in your union come before this committee and take the Fifth Amendment because an honest answer might tend to incriminate them. Your complete indifference to it, I think, makes this bill essential. To Jimmy Hoffa and his mafia cronies, there was a strange irony in being attacked by Joe Kennedy's boys. The way the mob saw it, Joe Kennedy had been just as crooked as they were. Jimmy Hoffa complained, you might have thought I was making as much out of the pension fund as the Kennedys made out of selling whiskey. And would you tell us about the vice operations down in Lake County, Indiana? The plain answer because I honestly believe my answer might be incriminating. Uh, would you tell us uh, whether if uh, you have opposition from anybody that you dispose of them by having them stuffed in the trunk? Is that what you do, Mr. Giancana? Another of the committee's targets, Chicago boss Sam Giancana, told a friend that Joe Kennedy was one of the biggest crooks that ever lived. Joe Kennedy feared that these investigations could endanger his son's political future by angering the unions and the mob. He urged Robert not to take the chief counsel's job. But even more the idealist than his brother John, Robert Kennedy pressed ahead and accumulated a long list of enemies. None would be more dangerous than a taciturn crime boss from Louisiana, Carlos Marcello, the godfather of the oldest mafia family in the United States.